Bonjour, buenos dias, magandang umaga. Welcome to the inner sanctum of my chamber of chakras. And thank you for joining me on another episode of Astro Affirmation for April 3rd, 2023. Hello ho, to all my viewers in Cambodia, the Philippines, India, and the United States. Greetings, my friends. How was your April Fool's weekend? The moon was in Leo, remember? Yes, so I had a heartfelt, egocentric, emotionally erotic Saturday. The moon was in Leo when I was born, so you see, my feelings ran deep, bubbling up to my cardio chambers. On the other hand, I was gassy and flatulent. <laughs> Today, the moon is in Virgo. So all you Virgos out there, open up and receive the oil of anointing flowing from the pituitary and pineal glands of your brains. Yes, that secret secretion of milk and honey that seed your spirit with a truer version of you. Receive the gift of the moon in Virgo. The constellation of Virgo was rising in the east when I was born. So this moon in Virgo is a blessing for me. It gives me what I need to be of service to others, physically, mentally, and spiritually. In doing so, I have unraveled myself and found where I belong. I belong with me here with you right now. <laughs> Reminds me of two of my favorite contemporary Christian songs. The first one is by Rush of Fools entitled Undo. And the second one is by Sanctus Real called Something Heavenly. Look them up on YouTube and watch their music video. They will change your life. So here we are again on another week and another month. Can you believe how fast 2023 is going? We are in the second quarter of the year already. This week is the last week before Easter, before Easter Sunday. Passover begins this Wednesday full moon in Libra on Thursday, and then Good Friday. Let's prepare ourselves for Resurrection Day, shall we? Let's all acknowledge that we are all human. We all make mistakes and come short of God's glory, but every day we try to be better people by learning from our sins so we don't get caught up in, a, in its web and caught in its loop, just waiting there for the spider to devour us. No, break free from the cocoon that no longer serve you. Rise like a butterfly and show your true colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, the colors of the rainbow, the seven primary chakras of our energy body, our core. Let it shine. Join me in singing our theme song for 2023. We are one to unite our spirit with light and sound from our caves of wonder that echo. We are here, we are here, we are here, we are here throughout the universe like the Who's in the microscopic community of Whoville.
from Dr. Seuss's Horton Hears a Who. All for one and one is all. The human family, one race, one body, one spirit in Christ. Here we go. chat. I've got my wide awake coffee from Seattle here in my lavender teacup. Have you got a cup up? Let's spill some tea, shall we? <laughs> mm. Yes. So I got a visit from a couple of my daughter's TLC's friends last Wednesday night. Susan, aka Susie, and Alicia. We had a smoke break porch side of the big blue house. It was lovely. Before they left to go to Tukut's Lounge for the live band karaoke, Tukut's Lounge is a venue at the San Manuel um, bingo and casino, Yamava Resort and Spa. Anyway, I gave them a hug before they left because I'm a hugger. And Alicia said I smelled like Nag Champa. Now, I had never heard of such a name before, a word before, so I asked her. And I looked it up on the internet and found that it's a fragrance from India. It turns out that it is made from sandalwood, which is my scent. I love sandalwood. Yeah, so I bought this box of Nag Champa from Amazon. Satya Sai Baba Nag Champa Agarbati. Manufactured by Srinivas Sugandalaya LLP. It smells amazing. Oh, so calming. Cleansing. It cleanses negative energies in the air when you burn it. Let's burn it right now. Oh, I didn't bring my lighter. It's okay. I'll burn it later. But yeah, it purifies all toxicities of the soul. I love it. Make sure you look for this label. Insist on the face of the founder, Satyam Seti. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we are in Aries season. <laughs> the ram, the male sheep. The sacrificial lamb, Jesus Christ, the Passover lamb for the forgiveness of sins. Yes. You know, every year at this time, it's a tradition in our family to watch Jesus of Nazareth. But this year, I will watch The Chosen, season three on Angel Studio. That's a streaming service that you can get if you have Roku or whatever. So, okay, so the ruling energy of the day is the crown chakra. And uh, I have my crocheted cap here, lavender cap that I will put on. Little flower on the side, but I'm going to put this crown, crocheted crown over it. To give it that royal look. Oh yeah, that's the ticket. Let's 
see and then I have this purple flower of life shawl that it, um, you can use as like a blanket over your your shoulder but it looks to me like a robe so regal yes let my hair grow free in the back oh yeah <laughs> oh I love it yes so the crown chakra the sahasrara in Sanskrit it's the thousand petaled lotus flower that blooms forever towards infinity of full consciousness we have amaranth in here today with her royal tiara say hi amaranthin she wants to honor the color of the crown chakra violet okay bye amaranthin yes my furry flying friend. So the crown chakra is the highest vibrational frequency of our electromagnetic current that is in the core of our being. The color is actually white for purity and holiness, but violet is the, its visible color like lavender, lilac, light purple, any soft shade of like pinkish purplish color can open and balance and activate the crown chakra, our connection to the divine. I'm wearing layers today because again, it's raining here in the IE. So it's, it's cold in the morning and then it gets hot when the sun comes out but i don't i don't think the sun's gonna come out today there's like just a blanket of gray clouds looming over the area so but yeah it's raining again april showers bring what that's right may flowers so i got this shimmery ice purple blouse on that my brother, Alexis Pena Goko, a.k.a. Catanic Panic, gave me for one of my birthdays years past. But, but he passed away, actually, last year, last February. I, I miss him. R.I.P. Alexis. Yeah, I have it over this long-sleeved lavender um, shirt. It's a Baltimore shirt. Where is it? see ocean city actually it's not baltimore it says maryland ocean city maryland shirt that i got from my daughter bc roberts i think it belonged to her husband because his family is from maryland and speaking of maryland i just heard that lance reddick passed away recently in fact, on St. Patrick's Day, this past St. Patrick's Day, the man was watching Fringe. Um, and when my daughter, TLC, saw Special Agent Broyles, she said that he passed away like two weeks ago. R.I.P. Lance. I love his character on Fringe. Remember when he ate that Red Vines licorice twist in Walter's lab? Oh my God. It was so funny because he didn't know that um, Walter had laced it with LSD and Agent Broyles tripped out. So funny. <laughs> anyway, so the violet is the color of the day. I crocheted a mandala for the crown chakra and I hung it on the wall there behind me. And I got this lavender candle burning at my side. Mm, I love lavender, it smells so good. And to give me that complete royal look, I have put on my crocheted purple flower of life 
robe and cap and my crocheted crown for the full effect of the queen of the big blue house. Oh yeah, got my April queen ring on and my third eye protection ring. Since the third eye is the gateway to the crown. Our connection to God, right? Okay, so I created a visual aid of the seven primary chakras of a human being's core, the subtle system, the soul spirit, the energy body. Okay, see the triangle that I drew in the background? It represents a, a human body sitting in a lotus position, like this image here. When you sit in this position, you make a tetrahedron shape with your body. It's a pyramid with four triangular sides. And what happens when you sit like this on the bare earth, another tetrahedron forms below you, you know, like as above, so below. It's like a mirror image of what you form at the top, the physical part, and then below you is like a shadow of it. So you're actually making an octahedron shape when you sit like this on the ground, right? The root chakra plugs you into the earth and the crown chakra connects you to the sky. All of the chakras must be open activated and balanced in order for the current of consciousness to flow freely and simultaneously up and down around your body. It's like okay so yeah around your body, around the earth, around the galaxy, across the universe, across the universe. Yes, but today we focus on the crown chakra, the Sahasrara, the thousand petaled lotus flower. Here on my chakra chart, it's the seventh chakra of our energy body, okay? It has no triangle in its symbol because it's above the crown of the head. It's beyond the elements. So the symbol is a spiral of circles, as can be better seen here on my chakra shawl. It's a spiral of circles, much like the spiral of hair at the top of the head they represent the never ending opening of petals. And the petals is a symbol of supreme consciousness and enlightenment. See? I read this article on the crown chakra from the Tribune of India by Dr. Satish K. Kapoor. It said that the crown chakra is our link to the universal mind that holds the elixir of life. It says that the crown chakra is the domain of supreme truth, beauty, and bliss that can be reached after one balances and aligns all the chakras in the body, in the subtle body, in the energy body, okay? From the root, the sacral, the solar plexus, the heart, the throat, the third eye, which is the door to the divine, okay? When you close your physical eyes, your third eye opens 
and your spiritual journey begins. Your spiritual journey to the ultimate source of everything. Okay? So the grounding force of the root chakra, the sensual passion of the sacral chakra, the personal power of the solar plexus chakra, the unbeaten love of the heart chakra, the pure truth of the throat chakra, the summoning of intuition and command of wisdom of the third eye chakra. Flow vital energies from each of their vortices and unite to become one current to achieve the highest state of consciousness. Where you see yourself and all its details in the big picture, like your microcosmic self in the macrocosmic reality. The mantra for the crown chakra is the sound of the universe. Aum. And the hand position is pinkies up like this, like this, and like this. Um, okay, so in your meditation today, be aware of when your consciousness reaches the third eye chakra level. Observe your thoughts, your visions, and dreams, and save the data in your memory for later study and analysis. But stay in the spirit and watch for the gap between your thoughts. Get in that empty space where there is no sense of self, and just be. Just be in the ether. Levitate your spirit above the head, beyond the elements. Hear the silence of the empty space devoid of all matters and be in the state of beingness. Return to the singularity of eternity where we all came from and connect with your supreme self and God. Open your crown chakra to receive from your superconscious mind. Let the petals of your consciousness blossom toward infinity, fully bloomed. Let go, expand your awareness beyond the physical plane and be free to just be your supreme self. Download divine inspirations in the silence of the void. Make time to meditate every day. Be silent and listen to the whisper of your soul spirit. Open your third eye. Relax by breathing slowly and deeply. Surrender and die to your cognitive mind to be born again in the presence of the Most High God. That's all I have for you today. And once again, I honor God in you and me. Namaste.